Welcome back, guys, for more Timberborn action. And in this episode, we're going to be turning this barren, mountainous desert into a verdant, lush robot paradise. Well, as you can see, Bob and the Barrelbots have been hard at work in the dynamite fields, carving out their new paradise. It's all going very, very well. Over here... Oh, they've built this bridge now. Hooray. And they're working on finishing off the pumps. And very soon, we can lay in the canal network, the irrigation canal network, and turn this place green. But we have a, we have a more pressing problem. Well, it's not a problem. It's actually a good thing. Uh, the, the drought has ended, and we have water pouring into the Giga Reservoir. So what we need to do now, because I think we're going to overflow. In fact, I'm, I'm absolutely certain we're going to overflow this season, which is fantastic news. For the first time, we'll see uh, the water cascading down our water features. But I want uh, I want a bit of an overflow valve. So we're going to put some uh, we're going to put some dams in over here. So I'll lay up some dynamite. We're we're limited at the moment by how far over here we can get. In fact, that is exactly the border. So uh, we'll get this uh, this dynamite laid up. Let's get this prioritised. Uh, we'll dynamite this. We'll put in some dams, and that way, when we get full. And, and these start overflowing. We'll also vent the excess water into this area. Oh, look at them go. Uh, into this area. There's already a dam across here. And the water will just go down here and off the map. For now. Eventually, there is going to be some kind of reservoir here. As yet to be determined. They've almost... I can't believe how quickly they do some of these things. Come on, guys. If you can get the last two in... Oh, here we go. We've got the dynamite. Yeah, get it done. Finish it off. Ah, no. Come back and... Here we go. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Detonate those. Awesome. Right, all we need now... Uh, what do I need? Oh, yeah, dams. All we need is some dams across here. And we are good to go. Right, let's prioritise these. Get them done, hopefully, before the, the dam fills up. Because we do want to see water cascading down these water features. Oh, I can't wait. Well, it's a race against time to try and complete this dam before we overflow come on beavers where are you well it's not beavers it's barrel bots that are doing this here they come bringing the logs come on you can do it are we are we are we there we're, we're at 12 of 20 come on come on you can do it you can do it are they going to come straight back they're going down they're getting the logs Which way are they coming? They're coming this way. Here we go. We've got one, two, three. They carry three logs each. So that's all the logs that we need. We're at 15, 18, 20. Yes, we've got it built. Woohoo! Right, how close are we? How close are we? Um, pretty close. We need to get up to... We need to get up to this line here. That's the halfway mark on this tile. And we need to get up to that. Oh, we're so close now. Look, you can see. You can see the water going up. We've just got to get up to this line. Oh, we're, we're so close. I wonder. Is it different at this end? We haven't overflowed yet. Damn, it's got to be close. Oh, look, 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 look. We're, we are so close now. 
finally see the water flowing over our water features. Oh, look, 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 look. We're almost there. We're almost there. Like, surely any second, any second. I've been waiting for this for so long. Come on, come on, overflow. You can do it. Are our, are our pumps pumping at this end? Yes, we're pumping away at this end. We're on the other side. Well, we are definitely over half a tile. Well, the drought started and we haven't seen any water overflow. What? They're broken. We got any overflow at this end? No. And the drought has ended. How? How is that not overflowed? I don't get it. That is definitely more than half a tile. Yeah, that is definitely more than half a tile. The water's flowing in that direction. Are we overflowing at this end? No. I can't believe that that hasn't overflowed. Oh, there you go. Overflow. We got overflow at this end. Come on, come on. Give us a bit of overflow. Just a little bit. Just a tiny drop. Oh, man, really? Not one single drop. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> the best laid plans. Okay, well, after that massive anticlimax. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm upset. I'm, I am. I'm upset. I wanted to see that happen. How are we doing over here? We've got a bridge in. Hooray. They're, uh, they're building this. They're laying out. There's a lot of dynamite to lay out. So I think, uh, I think at this point, uh, I'm going to get all the, all the dynamiting done uh, and let them build this. Because really, we need that done before we can move on to the, to the more interesting stuff. I have figured out that the... Where's... Here we go. The excavator setup that I've got here, which I really like, uh, is 15 by 23 tiles. So the path around the outside is 15 by 23. And if we go over here, the distance between this tile here and this tile over here, you'll never believe it. That is 23. So we can do a 15 by 23 right here. So what I'm thinking is that we're going we're gonna to dynamite this down two levels. So that, so that we're down at this level. And we're going to have the excavator site up here. Because I think that that will look really good. Really good. Okay, so it looks like they, they can only build terrain blocks directly underneath the bridge. They can't build to the sides of it. Which is a bit of a problem. So uh, I'm going to get rid of this bridge... Now, I could put another couple of bridges in, right? But I, I, I'm, not get, I'm not getting this whole bridge thing. Uh, pause for a second. Like, this is 30 logs and 30 planks, okay? And it doesn't even do the job, right? When I could just put in that, that, and that. Three staircases. Boom, boom, boom. Now, what's that going to cost? So this is six logs, four planks. We'll count up the planks. So four planks, four planks, four planks. So that's 12. And then four planks, four planks, four planks. So that's 24. So that's less than the cost of one bridge. And it does the whole thing. So, yeah, I, I don't understand the, um, the bridge fascination. The, the scaffolding is dead cheap, dead easy to build. And then I can do I can do the same again here to finish this, can I? Yeah. Uh, let's do. Let's put in a bit of a bridge. Uh, bridge. A path there. Path there. And then just do the same thing. I am. I am definitely a scaffolding fan. What can I say? You, you know. You just you go with what you like. I like what you feel comfortable with. There's no. 
There's no best way to do it, as far as I'm concerned. All right, so that will get this built. So they're getting on with the dynamiting. I've almost finished it. I've got, I'm, I'm backfilling now. And then I'm going to dynamite around here. I think, having looked at this, that what I'm going to do, rather than dynamiting down two levels, I'm going to dynamite this top level, and then this next level, we're actually going to fill in. So we're going to bring it up to this level. So a uh, whole bunch of terraforming. I'm seriously thinking about getting another, another four terraformers to join these guys. Because there's going to be a lot of terraforming. Um, I'm going to fill in, I think, this whole area here. I might even bring it like right up to the edge of this. Because we don't need that. We just don't need it. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. It's happened. It's happened, finally. With, with 0.6 days left in cycle uh, 119's wet season, we've got it. We've actually got it. And I tell you what, that's worth waiting for. I think that looks very cool. Oh, both sides. I'm going to get rid of this one. I think I think that one's too much. I don't think we need that one. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, I bet the lowborn are down here looking at that and going, look, look at them. They just throw water away. they got so much water, the highborn. Oh, <laughs> and look at this. Wow. We're venting a fair amount of water. Yeah, I'm going to have to start getting onto this uh, onto this reservoir. I mean, I, it's not really a massively high priority because we've got so much water now. I mean, look at this thing. It's absolutely chock full. I, uh, I'm, I'm over the moon. Over the moon. Right, how are we doing over here? The drought started. Can we have one last look? I can't want to have one last look. Oh, that one stopped. That one stopped. Oh, well, we got one last little look. Okay, they're almost done with the dynamite. Um, I've been blowing it up as they've been filling it in around here. How have they done that? How have they done this? Let's have a look. Ah, okay. They tend to start at the extremities. Um, yeah, ah, well, in that case, in that case, I don't need that staircase there we can get rid of that haha -ha, good that's something they didn't need to build uh and we'll detonate those and then as they fill in we can uh, we can just blow them up awesome 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 we can we can almost do that big one <laughs> i'm looking forward to that right how are we getting on down here and the answer is are we we're done are we done i think we're done yeah we're done Oh no, there's one bit to build. Can they get to that bit? Because it's... I, no, see, I don't think they can get to that bit. If I got rid of that bit and prioritised that bit, you know what? If I prioritise that, we'll get rid of this bit. Yay. Um, that's a three way, isn't it? Yeah. Right, that is prioritised. And then three way goes back in there awesome well with the uh, with the pumping terraforming done we can move on to other terraforming i'm actually going to throw in another terraforming station over here so what are we going to do we're going to start filling this in is what we're going to start doing so i think probably probably right up to there yeah why not why not right up to there so we'll leave like a, a one gap around it, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That like, looks good. And we'll flip it around it from this side. And am I going to bring it right out? Yes, I am. And we're just going to have stairs coming up to, uh, to ground level, which is going to be here. So... You know what? Let's just do it. Let's just throw it all in and get it done, I guess. Boom. Boom. And that, yeah. Oh, 
one little bit left over. There we go. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, it's going to take a little bit of time to get that done. We will need to power these pumps. How are we going to do that? I think we're just going to use some, uh, some wind power to get that done. So what do I want? Power. Now, to run these fully, we'd need 2,800 power. Uh, divide that by the average power of a wind turbine. So you're looking at what? Uh, we'd need 14. 14 of these large windmills. But this doesn't need to run at full power. So I'm thinking, how about if we just go like one? I um see. I was gonna, I was gonna space them out the way I've been spacing them out before. But this is the this is the robot area. This is different. They don't mind stuff being packed in. So we could we could do like one, two. Get rid of that and six seven eight eight will do for now i think yep eight will do for now okay right i'll hook those together we'll get them built our water features are going again <laughs> oh i love it apparently this is now a regular feature oh awesome right i promised you a big bang here it comes. Uh, I am going to slow this right down. And we'll do it from this corner, I think. Yeah, go. <laughs> that. Definitely the biggest explosion to date. Still going. Awesome. And finally, it's finished. All right. Oh, look at that. We've got a nice area to work with. All right. Cool. Uh, we can. Ah, oh, we can do this bit as well. Get that. Get that out of the way. All right, so now I've just got a bit of backfilling to do on this path. They are... Oh, look at this. They're, they're really getting on with filling this in. Excellent. Wow, we're going to have a great, big, nice area to work with. Loving it. We have got uh, three of the pumps in. We're just waiting for the fourth pump. How are we doing on that? I can speed this up now. We are... Oh, we just need 20 metal blocks and we're done. Uh, I've started shipping paper over so that we can get the windmills built. And that's happening as well. Uh, let's see, what are they working on? Yeah, we're just we're just waiting on paper for that. Oh, they've almost finished this one. How are we doing this one? We just need... Oh, they can't get to that. They can't build... Seriously, they can't build from the corner? Okay, that's going to be... That's going to be a problem for this one as well then. So I guess, I guess I need to take that one out and take that one out. Wait till those two get built and then we'll put those back in. Oh, as soon as they get this pump going, we can pump the first bit of water up and see the first bit of ground turn green. Well, I think we're, we're ready for the big moment to turn this on and, and turn our first patch green. Let's do it. So... <laughs> you know what? Can I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have it. Let's have it blue so we can actually see it. Right. Go. Oh, <laughs> oh, loving it. How much power? How much power are we getting? So we're getting about a little over half power, sixty-four percent. And this one. Oh, <laughs> this is so much fun. It's ridiculous. Oh, I need to uh, detonate that. Because we want to go down two. Right. Here we go then. Oh, 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 look at that. Look at that. Wow. Now, this thing is going to pump until this is up to 90% of this tile. So 0.9 of a tile. And then it's just going to stop. 
and that's how it's going to sit. And as long as we've got water down here, which we always have water down here, there'll be water up here. All right. So how are we going to do this? Well, the robots are very, very logical. And uh, Bob, Bob the Barrel Bot, King Bob has decreed that they will work on a nine by nine square basis. Because, primarily because of the beehives. Beehives are seven by seven or cover a seven cover a seven by seven area therefore a nine by nine square fits uh, a beehive perfectly it also fits uh, nine of these windmills so bob has decided that that is how they will build so that's what we're going to do uh the first thing i'm going to do uh am i yeah yeah the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to tear out this road here and then we're going to lay some dynamite. Right. We'll take that down too. Uh, and then what we'll do. Is this the way I'm going to do it? Oh, yeah, I think this is the way I'm going to do it. Um, I'm going to put in two platforms. Uh, now, I could do this with a, with a double. Could do this with a two. Just put a two in there. But we're not going to. What we're going to do is we're going to put a one like that. And then we're going to put, uh, let's see. Then we're going to put a, a power layer. And then we're going to put another platform on top. And I'm thinking that probably, am I going to... I could just go with fours and just put fours everywhere. And i got to say, I'm very tempted to do that. But, uh, I suppose, I suppose I'll manage without... Uh, am I going to put power in here? I don't think I am, actually. I think I'm just going to put two platforms. And then if I if I need power, I'll put power in there. I'm sure power will go in here at some point. Uh, but for now, yeah, for now, I'll just I'll just throw uh, throw the other platform on there. Good God, they've, they've, they've put the dynamite in nice and quick. Okay. Oh, and... We spread our our influence. The green spreads. The green carpet. Right, what, uh, what am I doing? Oh, yeah. More dynamite. So I'm going to carry on doing this. And, uh, yeah, we'll extend out. And I'm going to start thinking about um, planting up, like, trees and other things that they will need here. Right, I wonder if you can figure out what I'm doing now. So we've got uh, we've got a two wide hole there, uh, and I'm taking it all the way across here, and then we've got a two wide wall there. Can you figure what that's for? I bet you can. I bet you can. I have faith in you. I know you have no faith in me, but I have faith in you. Yes, we're putting in gravity batteries. So we want this to go. All the way up to the top. I'm trying to make as best use of the terrain as I can. Uh, it's not perfect, but it's not, also not terrible. Okay, sweet. I like it. I like it. So what we're going to have, if, if, you th if you're still thinking, like, well, like how's it going to work? Uh, we will have, where's power? Gravity batteries. We will have uh, a gravity battery. Uh, flipped around so it will sit get it actually sit there so we'll have a gravity battery there and the same over here we'll have a, a row of gravity batteries all along there and gravity batteries all along there and then there's going to be a row of them on the front edge and then flipped around and a row of them on that back edge so we're going to have like three rows of gravity batteries and obviously I'm going to dig this down but I'm not going to bother raising it up. It's 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 fine at that height. They'll produce loads of power, just as they are. So I, I'm not going to worry overly about that. How are we getting on over here? And the answer is brilliantly. We have finished this, which means that I can now lay in our excavator design over there. So let me see. 
Now, one thing that I tell you what, this is one thing I did not notice when I when I did it originally, and that is how much the dirt piles cost. Oh my God, they're expensive. Uh, where are we? Dirt piles. Let me throw one in. So how am I going to do it? I guess I'm going to have like one, two, three, three, four. I think that's how it's going to be. Um, but look, they're 25 metal blocks each, these things. <laughs> they are, they're not cheap. Good Lord. So I think the way this... Well, I didn't want to delete. I want the path. Thank you. Uh, I think the way this works... I've got to go and have a look. Right, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We So we have two and two, then a rose, and then two, 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 all the way around. And then those in the middle. The excavator, we flip around. That's going to go in there, isn't it? Let me get a little more top up so I can be absolutely sure. Yep. It's still, it, that still looks strange. Oh, because, yeah, 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 I need to sink it down one, don't I? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, man, I should have thought of that, shouldn't I? I filled that in, and now I'm going to dynamite it. Oh, you bonehead. Was it five by, five by six, I think? Okay. Well, I'll, I will get that put, I'll get that dynamited and get those put in. Um, we, well, we could do some more dynamiting. Woohoo! And, well, I love turning this place green. That's enormous fun. Right, uh, I need to go down at another level, don't I? Yes, I do. Oh, I'd already got the landscape. So, I think I, it looks like it's down two, but it's not. It's only down one. Right, so we'll get that laid in. I'll extend this out. Uh, we're getting these built. I'll lay this in. Oh, there's so much to do. Oh, I will show you one thing just quickly. If we go over to the dam, look at that. It's all done, which means... That I can, t I can just get rid of this now. We don't need this any longer. We can throw this old rubbish out in the street. There you go. Right, get out. Get out. Throw your filthy stuff out in the street. We don't want you. We don't want your sort around here. And those. And all of this. And all of this rubbish as well. Uh, oh, actually, no, no. I'm going to keep that staircase on the end. Because I'm kind of using that. But everything else can go. Woohoo! And now what I can do is I can dynamite down to this level. So this, this can go down to this level. This round here can go down to this level. And in fact, round here, this, this area. Um, this, and once I get rid of this, this round here should come down to this level so it's just one tile down but and that's all then going to be very tidy i do need to tidy this up. oh man there's, a, <laughs> there's so much to do let me get on with it well we've reached a crucial point oh yes we have not only is everything done on this side now it's not complete there's still uh, there's still going to be things that i want to do but it's substantially complete and on the other side also substantially complete is the is the more i'm going to do yes but does it need to be done right now no hooray and there was much rejoicing so we can uh, we can do something really important what i'm going to do i'm going well let's do it this way i'm going to go to the mine and i'm going to convert the mine to golems and then i'm going to make it very important We've got golems in here, and now I'm going to crank it up to 10. So now, we are producing, yes, we are producing metal, scrap metal. That is awesome. Right, so the scrap metal is going to get shipped over here. Now, the, the problem is, right now, we don't have any haulers here. Uh, we don't have any uh, transporters we don't have a transport depot a distribution post to um, to ship the stuff over here so I've got to put all of that stuff in wow so much so much to do all the time what do I what do I need right so I need um, yeah, what did I say I needed a distribution post yeah where are we gonna put this I'm thinking we just put it over here in the corner 
Yeah, let's keep everything together. These are really cheap to build, so it's, it's not a big deal anyway. Um, so we'll pop that in there. We are going to need a drop-off point. Flip you around. We'll put you on that corner there. Hooray. I should have seen that it wasn't in range. Well, I threw it in. Okay, so I can set up um, the distribution limits, which are for the scrap metal. We want everything that we can get, so there aren't really going to be distribution limits. Uh, what else do I need? Oh, yeah. I need some people to haul the stuff, don't I? Yeah. Now, is it going to be a question? Do, do I actually want goalers? I mean, I would prefer goalers for this. Oh, hello. The, the water has arrived. Hooray. It's always a joyous time when the water arrives. What was I doing? Yeah, hauling post sky. For God's sake. <laughs> Focus on, it's like, ooh, shiny. Ooh, squirrel. Um, should I put it there or shove it in the corner? Oh, I don't know. I can't make decisions like this. All right, we'll just throw it there. So we'll get a hauling post in. I'm thinking, I mean, obviously, I would like to have um, barrel bots doing doing this because we're all we're all barrel bot over here. This is all barrel bot. So, and how many would I need to keep up? With? I don't know. Can I could I keep up with five? We do have five golems at the moment, so I could do that. I could do that. Shall I do that? Oh, it's built. Hooray. Go on then, golems. And we'll uh, we'll migrate five golems over here. Uh, we should be good there. We should be good. So we are now producing scrap metal and sending it over. Oh, I do have to get... Uh, now, for this, for the distribution post, we've only got to throw them down there. It's like just there. I, t I tell you what we could do. Ah, I know what we could do. I know what we could do. If we put... Um, a small storage. Yeah, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to throw in a small storage. I'm going to throw it, throw it in right, right there. Uh, and we'll set this to scrap metal. Scrap metal, yes. Scrap metal and the whole 200, please. There you go. Right, so this can effectively be our, like our monitoring post. Uh, and we'll see. Like, if this is at capacity, then we're not good, doing good enough. So we want all of that stuff shipped out. So I do. I, I am going to need some. Well, can I manage with like a couple? In fact, I I reckon that just one barrel bot could do this. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a try. So we'll set it to bar to barrel bots, and I'm gonna I'm gonna steal one barrel bot from there. Yes, I am. Okay, so yes, we have now got a barrel bot in here. So I'm thinking three barrel bots shipping the stuff backwards and forwards, and then one just taking it from this storage down here to down there. That might work. It might work. They may not be able to keep up though. We will. We will see. We're at 19 of 60, so we need to monitor this number here and make sure that this isn't just permanently full, which means that they're not ship, shipping the stuff out fast enough. To, to storage and then we need to monitor the storage to make sure that that's not full which means that they're not shipping it down here fast enough hmm all right cool with that all sorted out how's how's things over here awesome totally awesome although our water level did get quite low but it'll soon it'll soon get back up okay Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, over here, I've been doing... I, I tell you what, when you're doing the infrastructure, you don't realise just how much time and effort it takes to put in the infrastructure. It's very easy to just, like, throw in a bunch of buildings, like cheap buildings that just cost, like, logs and a few planks and just throw them together, like, bang some houses in and bang this and that. But when it comes to putting in solid infrastructure, totally different story. Totally different story. Now, I do realize that I did make a sly error. But in actual fact, if, if I realized, then I would still have done this. Uh, and it's the fact that I'm going to put the... Uh, where are they? I'm going to put the gravity batteries along this edge, right? Which, of course, they won't go here because of these windmills. But 
I still would have done this anyway because it it made the most sense uh, from a from a geological perspective in terms of maximizing or minimizing what I had to build and what I had to destroy. So it's uh, I'm going to go with that anyway. Right, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in one, two, three. I'm going to start off with four gravity batteries there. Now, we are going to have two power systems, a wet system and a dry system. Oh, yeah. Now, over here, if I drop this, uh, if I drop this down a bit. Come on. Oh, let's drop this. Ah, here we go. Right. This is the wet system over here. And as you can see, there's water in it. Hence the name wet. <laughs> 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 and then over here this is the dry system hence the name and there's no water hence the name dry <laughs> have we established that good um the reason for that is for example this building right uh, needs power right but we can't have water running along here why not sky because we're going to dig a great big hole we don't want it full of water so, so that's why. Right, what are we, what are we doing? Oh, God, so, there's so much, there's, seriously, there's been so much going on. Uh, I could finish that, awesome, so that's ready. What am I doing? Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember, uh, landscaping. <laughs> and uh, the dirt excavator, our first e dirt excavator going in. I'm just going to put the one in for now. Right, when that gets built, it's already connected to uh, power there with a the three-way. That power will go along here and along here. I can actually put that dynamite in, can't I? Yeah. Uh, let's put that dynamite in going along there. And then it's, it's probably going to go up there and along here. I mean, that's probably going to be powered as well, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay. So, yeah, the, the power goes up here and then along here past the district center up to here ah well what are you going to do now sky well we're going to lift it up so power and high power shaft flip you around and then all we need to do i think am i going to do anything uh you know what i'm probably going to put some windmills in here yeah i'm probably going to put some windmills in there so in in that case i'm going to put in a four-way now i could get away with a three-way but no, you should always take a four-way over a three-way if you get the offer. That's that's my philosophy. So so a four-way going in there. <laughs> Hello. There was, a, there was a little bit too much giggling going on over there. You worry me. Right. We're uh, we're getting the power and everything done. Well, okay. So we could do that. Do the next. We are making such progress here. Right, now this, this should produce some greening. Uh, by the way, we're going to have a gap here um, of one, two, three of our, our seven by seven, well, nine by nine units. Uh, because we, we do 16, so I can't do four, but if we do three, then we get very good coverage. I hope you followed that. If you didn't follow that, well, I don't know. Leave me a comment and I'll, I'll explain it more fully. Whoa, look at that. And then out the front. Whoa, look at that. Awesome. Now, what I'll probably end up doing is extending this a little bit and extending this a little bit so that we're, we're getting a bit of coverage down here. And I, I don't know. I think, I think we'll probably have trees on here. Yeah, probably. That would be my guess. Right, we need to go down two, don't we? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. So let's go landscaping and throw in some more dynamite. Boom, boom. I tell you what, you know, the difference between just like throwing a path in and dynamiting it twice, putting in uh, a platform, power, and then another platform on the top of that, and then the path. Yeah, there's quite a time investment difference. It's, um, it's pretty, in fact, it's pretty huge, actually. But I think it's going to be worth it. it it's going to be, of course, it's going to be worth it. It's going to be freaking awesome. Right, we're going to put a four-way in there for the um, previously aforementioned reasons. 
Uh, we put the power in there, and then what do I want? I want uh, a platform on the top. And we are done. Woo! Okay, let's crank this back. Oh, and then the path goes on the top. And we're good. We've got, I tell you what, we've actually got a lot done. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of shocked at how much I've got done, and yet how little I've got done, if you know what I mean. Wow. Alrighty. Uh, what's going on in the rest of the world? Um, oh, the, while I've been doing this, I have been starting on something else. Over here. Yes. We've got uh, we've got this wall built. We've got this wall built out to there, which I'm assuming is the max range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to need to get another wall in here so that we can actually get to this. Um, or, or come up with a better arrangement of staircases and stuff. Because at the moment, they've got to go up this staircase and over here and yeah it's a it's yeah it's we're not maximizing our range let's put it like that but yeah we've got we've got this wall coming out here so we've started we've started on the redevelopment of this um yeah that's going to take a while so we've got that done we've got all the stuff done over there and we got the great big dam done and we got to see the water running uh, overflowing on our water features i'm going to take that i'll take that as a win <laughs> if you want to see more if you want to see the uh the the barrel bots expand the next thing is going to be planting up i, I thought i would get the, that get this done in this episode but like no way um i'm gonna get some tr next episode trees planting up we'll get some crops planted up uh, we'll get this area filled in. We'll actually place the district center properly and have it controlling this area. We'll move this district area, this district center back down here, I would imagine. And we'll we'll actually let King Bob run his own affairs. Yeah? <laughs> if you've got any advice, any ideas, any comments, leave me a comment and I'll catch you for the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.